This is pretty cool. If you search Regency RV Exalta Ranger RB, what do you find on YouTube? That would be about zero because only the manufacturer themselves, Regency RV, out of Fort Worth, Texas, has put a one minute, six second video out about this super compelling, brand new camper van on a Sprinter chassis you will want to know about for sure. We're gonna cover the specs, we're gonna cover the price, we're gonna do some walkthrough with the uh, Chief Operating Officer of Regency RV when I recently visited them at their Fort Worth, Texas factory. I was pretty smitten, even though this is kind of a familiar floor plan. Floor plan being a galley, kind of behind the driver's seat, two twin beds and a rear bath, right? We know that really well. Travato 59K, the most best-selling floor plan that's copied by everybody. These guys, Regency RV though, did something different. They have four captain chairs in there, they split the galley in half, and the rear bath is like, OMG, wait till you see this. Can, give us a tour because this thing feels like a, I don't know, a Swedish apartment. It's so beautiful. What are we looking at here? This is your sink. You have a microwave under it. This thing has kind of got everything, but it's, uh, to do that, we had to, we had to get it all in here kind of tight. Here's your countertop. You have an inducted cooktop that comes out of this cabinet here and you set it on top. Yep. All right. There's your fridge. Fridge. And a stereo head unit, very beautiful. Television. TV. There's your AC controls. Plenty of storage. There's your uh, oh, all yeah. your controls up top. You raise this floor so we could make these beds taller, so we could fit more stuff under the under your beds. And we have a lagoon table mount here on both ends. You got one there and you got one here. So to make a bed, how does that work? Do you have sl slats that pull out? Yeah, it has a double door over here that flips over. Oh, I comes see. Comes over to this side, and these cushions just come together. It takes oh, about two seconds. Wow, that's cool. And what's the size of this bed? Any idea? Is it a queen at least? That that is a, uh, I believe a seventy Almost a king. Right? Yeah, it's probably it's probably cool and close queen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just so well done. This is all soft vinyl. Beautiful. I just love this color. Good job. Uh, you AC. Got, you got a pocket door pocket door for the bathroom look at that ladies and gentlemen that's a thing of beauty uh, stereo speakers so you get sound throughout your van the windows open they do not open you have in this coach two opening windows one on one side and one on the other so oh, up you front. Get, okay yeah, here so and then back here uh, your sliding door sliding door so yep. you get a cross breeze very yep. nice and i think the i'm going to jump outside but i think the coolest thing is we're kind of familiar with this right twin bed twin bed you guys have actually separated the galley here which is pretty, I don't think I've ever seen this. And by the way, you're seating four people with all this going on. But I think one of the coolest things is the rear bath, which we are familiar with, but these guys, you've taken it to the next level. And so clearly I've jumped outside because I think it's easier to see this. Again, somewhat familiar at a glance, but Kent, tell us what we're looking at. This is a very different approach to a rear bath. My hat is off to you. What I'm not seeing here is the, love or hate him, uh, the flip down sink. Yes. How have you guys put a sink into this thing? We chose to put a sink over here across from the toilet. Ah, that is a thing of beauty. You have a laundry chute up top. Laundry chute? And, and a place to hang your clothes. In a van? Wait for it. Yeah, look at that. Is that cool? That's pretty cool. And if you have a laundry chute, you can still have a bit of storage down here if you put a, a shelf in or a, a basket, something like that, so you can put some- Yeah, it's got uh, a lot of storage. A lot of dedicated storage here. Again, the radial cuts here, very well done. I just love this sink approach. A real sink, you can keep this clean. Again, great job on innovation here. What's going on here? What's How does this thing work? Okay, it's called a macerator toilet, and what it does is it liquefies your waste, so when it goes into the tank, you don't, you don't have any uh, buildup and chances of getting a clogged uh, in your tank, in your toilet, uh, just a lot cleaner uh, way to, to uh, get rid of the waste. Empty the tank, and because some of them have the chewing up thing at the end yes. of the hose, yep. so there's a lot of in between for, for problems. Which lets you get more in your tank too because it's you're liquefying it before. Up. Yep. Yeah, like a garbage disposal in your, yes, in your commode. Uh, just a beautiful, I just love this. And you got the round lighting, so great. So It's got the removable shower head, so yeah. if you wanna it's a real one. Uh, and all drains in here. Love the shower pan. You can definitely stand and shower in here. Oh yeah, there's plenty no of problem. Room. Uh, great job on innovating in the rear bath. I'm impressed. 
So we've had a seat until we sat in this thing. I'm like, what is it going on here? These are really comfortable seats. And Ken's like, these have like foot rests. What's going on here? Yep, you got a power foot rest. Kind of let you kick everything up so you can relax. <laughs> How about that? That is really, really nice. So again, the cool thing here is you can travel for, depending on how big the people are, maybe sleep for, but it's just a really nicely designed rig that allows for what I think a lot of people do. It's, it's a lot of fun on the weekends, travel this around, maybe even a full-time car, so you replace your oh, yeah. truck with this. Yep. Uh, so what caught, caught my attention was this little bubble level here. I'm like, is this to help keep your van? It's kind of a weird place. He goes, no. What's this for? That is so you can take the TV uh, from inside the coach and you can mount it out here so you can watch TV outside. Cool, as again, you take this TV, it's mounted on a bracket, you lift the TV off and it goes here? Yep, you slide it right down that channel, it takes about two seconds. Which is pretty cool, then you can watch this, watch your TV outside, and uh, this is with the yep. awning out. Yep, you got the awning out. So, just really clever to have an outside TV in a B-Van, utilizing the same TV that's in, on the inside. So smart. Kent, just thank you again for your time today. I know you're super busy. You've got a lot of irons in the fire. I'm super impressed. It's kind of cool to see how, I'm a Regency RV, how these things come together. And I just really appreciate the innovation you're putting in your B-Vans. It's really obvious to me that's, you know, that spends a lot of time in B-Vans. So thank you. We, we appreciate you and we have a lot of fun doing what we do. Yeah, it's just great. Thanks for your time. Thank we'll you. see you soon. Hope you enjoyed that video. I was stunned when I saw the Regency RV Exalta Ranger RB at the factory. Until we see you soon, we say journey on and peace be with you. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.